I want to talk to you about overlapping columns because it crops up a lot in some of the forums and people try and say, well, how do I do that? Because I do it and it's not overlapping properly. I'm talking about horizontal or vertical overlapping, especially when you have multiple columns. Here we have an example of column one with some text and column two with some further text. And you can see there's a bit of a bigger space here. I've added in a bit of padding. What if I want column one to overlap column two? And I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can do it. None of them require any additional code or plugins or anything like that. If I go to column one and I go to advanced and I go to the margin and I say I'm going to move it to overlap column two and I say increase this by, let's go for a 100. I've moved over 100, but can you see that column one has almost gone behind column two? And you might go, well, oh, that's OK, it's Z index. No, it doesn't work like that. Column one has a Z index of two. And column two has a Z index of one. But column one is still gone behind column two. Here's what you need to do. If I go back over to column one and I've put in a 100 pixel movement to the left, I need to go to the right and put in a negative 100 there. By doing that, it now forces it over. So what is my recommendation to you is, if you're gonna overlap by 50 pixels, you wanna do a negative number in the opposing side. So if you were going rightwards, you would have positive in right, negative in left. But if you're going that way, you're gonna have a positive in left and a negative in right. So that's how you do it. Let's now just put this back to zero. Now, if you see here where I have a section above, okay, if I now wanna overlap with the section above, again, the same kind of principle works here. So I'm gonna stick in a negative 300, okay? That easy is you just, I'm gonna to go to three like that and then put in a double O and it's now overlapped. The trouble with it though, is that you can see at the bottom now, it's now got this extra padding, which we need to get rid of. So I'm gonna to go to the bottom. Now watch what happens if I stick in a negative. Nothing. In fact, it starts to go the opposite way. So like I've said, because I did a negative in the top, I'm gonna to put a positive in the bottom. Now I will say that if I match it, it shoots up further more than I actually intended. So what I'm now gonna to have to do is just kind of shrink it down to be exactly where I want. And what, and what you have to understand is that when you go beyond what the actual size of that column was, when I get to about here-ish, there we go, I was nearly there, it actually starts to move it higher. So whereas on the horizontal, I matched it, on the top and when you're going top and bottom you just have to jig around with it a little bit but i look there you go so it's about 100 and there we go it's 118 that now means i'm overlapping my column with section one and two now i am going to answer a very simple question here why am i doing that why don't i just pick up the header and move that up and down because look i can pick up the header like that okay and i can put the header wherever i want okay Bear in mind, the column is shrinking because the column is only as big as your header. But if I wanted to, I could go like minus 420 and now it's up there. Why am I doing it within the column? Simple reason, okay, is that when you do it in a column, I could go over here now and I could pick up a video and drop a video within that column. So that column now contains text, video, icons, accordions, whatever you want. And I can rearrange it to be wherever I want on the page. Now that is one way to do it. So negative positives, right, to move things along, to overlap items or content. That's one way to do it. Let me just get rid of this video for a moment. You know, and please do bear in mind though, that I've just done it like this. If I was to just uh, increase this text a little bit, like so, you could, if, oh, let me just go back to the column. Uh, there it is. I could overlap both ways. So on the left, I'm gonna go uh, 200 and I'm gonna go, so by doing a 200 as well, I'm now overlapping section one and two and I'm overlapping column two as well. So you can have a bit of a play with it. But there is another way to do it. And I don't always recommend doing this, mainly because like it, it's not the best way to do things. So I've got column one and I've got column two. What if I was to drop in an inner section instead into column one? I'm gonna get rid of uh, the other column. So I just have one column within the inner section within column one. And I'm gonna take this text, whoops, and drop it into section one. Just double check that is exactly what I've done. Section, 
column, inner sections, column, header, right? Now that I've put the text or the header into the inner section, I could just go to the inner section now and say, okay, right, we're going to do a negative uh, 300. Whoops, like that. I could just move it. In fact, let me just make the inner section white. I really should do this properly, shouldn't I? Let's just make it white. There we go. So now column one is still wherever column one is. But when I, I can now just move the inner section. So my inner section contains all of my items and then I rearrange it. Again, though, you can see that you have the same slight issue here with the top and the bottom. So I'm going to have to add a positive in to shrink that. OK, these are just some ways of doing it. But just like with the column one that I did above, you can just add a positive and a negative. Um, I prefer to do it this way rather than, let me just go to the column. I prefer to do this than to use the intersection, mainly because you're thinking of page speed performance, how much stuff in HTML you're adding to the page. But this is like a simple way of doing it. Um, there, are very, there are other ways to do it, by the way. And I'm sure people are going to comment and go, well, why don't you do this and why don't you do that? There are different ways to do it. This is just a simple, easy way using your margins. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow, and I'll see you soon.